don't know, my name's Lydia. Um, I'm 19 years old and I'm from Swindon and I was in step-by-step -step placement for two years. I grew up in Somerset for the first year of my life and then we moved to Swindon when I was uh, about eight months old or so. Um, and I stayed in my family home with my mum and dad and my cat at the time called Daisy um, f until I was 12 years old. So the reason we moved out of that house was because my dad became very unwell with sepsis. Um, he had a lot of issues with his hips. Uh, he had chronic arthritis and it basically became that we couldn't live in that house anymore because my dad's mobility didn't allow him to get up the stairs. So we ended up moving to a bungalow. Uh, still in Swindon, just a little bit down the road. And um, my my mum struggled with issues of abuse and alcohol. She became an alcoholic. Um, so at the age of 13, I was both caring for my dad during the day um, after I got home from school and also caring for my mum of an evening after she had had too much to drink. Um, during this time as well, I was also going to school full time. Um, and also I had dance lessons. I'm a big performing arts person. Um, so every other evening thereabouts, I was leaving the house to go to these performing arts lessons um, and coming home to a loving household, but it was very strained with my dad being ill and also my mum's alcoholic issues. Um, this is where my mental health just start, started to decline. Um, I experienced panic attacks quite frequently. Um, I was also diagnosed with depression. Um, at school, I was seeking counselling. Things progressed and we went into lockdown. Um, this was a very, it was a chilled out period because even though my day to day life was normal, there was, it, of, of an evening, it became a bit of a household that I was scared to be in and as much as I love my mum and dad they would both admit that and a few months into lockdown it was June of 2020 and my mum started to show some signs of being a bit unwell so we booked her into the doctors um, and nothing really came of it um, fast forward to August, she wasn't walking properly, um, which obviously caused a lot of stress in the household. Um, my mum was definitely like sort of the matriarch of the family. She did everything um, for us, which I'm so grateful for. Like even with her issues, she was the most loving mum ever. And she became quite ill so she was walking properly she couldn't talk properly so she went into the hospital um after she was hallucinating i told my dad to call the ambulance and my mum got taken into the hospital on monday the 10th of august we got a diagnosis of stage four lung cancer and by 8 a.m on monday she had passed away um and i was by her side and so was my dad and my close family so then I became a full-time young carer for my dad. Um, I took over sort of the matriarch role of the family, doing the washing, the cooking, cleaning, taking care of him, um, going to school. I was in year 11, so we were doing our GCSEs, um, which were obviously all thrown off due to COVID. Um, I finished school um, and I got really good grades with my GCSEs. Um, I went to college in September of 2021. Um, I did performing arts, which I'm really passionate about, and we were actually about to start rehearsing for our first show called We Will Rock You, which is a musical all about Queen and their, their story, Queen music, and that was something that me and my dad had really connected over. And in January of 2022, um, I went to college at 7am in the morning, um, to get there for nine o'clock. Everything was normal, everything was fine. My, me and my dad had breakfast. Um, I said to him, see you later, love you. Um, and I came home from college and I found my dad had passed away in the living room and I was the one to call the ambulance and everything like that. Um, he passed away of heart disease. There was no warning signs. 
um, and my life basically did a complete 180 from that point because losing my mum was very hard but I still had the comfort of my home, my dad, my family and everything like that but losing my dad meant I lost everything I knew. Um, I haven't seen my dog since the day my dad passed away which was extremely hard for me um, and obviously losing the house that I had known and um, I moved into placement with uh, step by step after a period of homelessness. Um, I was sofa surfing with my family members for about two or three months when my social worker suggested step by step as an option for me. Um, since then I have finished college um, I passed my course with Flying Colours, I did the We Will Rock You performance and I left a seat for my dad in the audience, it was a very special show for me. Me and my host got on really well, um, I was very nervous to meet her for the first time, um, but we we were paired so well that it just sort of it felt like i've known her for years and i knew that i was going to be well taken care of my host helped me emotionally uh, definitely um she was very good at understanding my feelings and talking to me about how i can process them uh, she was also very encouraging when I got my first job. Um, she supported me through college and allowing me time and space to do my coursework. She also helped me out with basic da uh, like daily living, uh, such as like washing, like how to do the washing, how to do different uh, tasks such as um, washing up correctly and things like that. Um, I had had a little bit of experience with it in the past because I was a young carer for my dad. Um, however, it, it was obviously a different environment now because I was sort of all on my own and it was a bit daunting, uh, but she made me feel less alone. So I have just started um, my first big girl job, as I like to call it. Um, I work in an office environment in a call centre um, and I have just moved into my first housing association flat um, so I'm currently in the process of decorating and basically starting to live my life as an adult. I did have plans to go to university um, some situations happen where I wasn't able to go and plus I just sort of got comfortable with my life again so I didn't think the whole uproot and moving would be a good idea for me um, in terms of my mental health. Um, since then I've also discovered that I may be autistic so I'm currently going through the diagno uh, diagnostic services with um, the Swindon autism team as well uh, which has given me a lot of support um, and as I said now I work in an office based job I've just moved into my first flat so I'm building a little life for myself and I'd also like to mention I'm getting a kitten called Spoon so um, yeah life is definitely looking up and I definitely wouldn't have been there without step by step I think they're an incredible incredible people um, welcoming young people into their home and sort of not ex not knowing them really until you have those initial conversations and I think it's just to be as understanding as possible find ways that you can help each individual not everything is going to work for each individual person so it's more a case of getting to know each other, not forcing a relationship, um, but just having that relationship where there's mutual respect and also having a routine that works for you and that individual. So without step by step, I definitely could imagine my life going completely different. Um, I do have mental health issues that I've struggled with quite a lot over the last two years and it could have led to me not making it past the age of 16. Supported lodgings have really given me that environment to feel at home again, especially after I lost everything after losing my dad. Um, I was able to make a, a home out of um, 
my support at Lodgings Placement with all of my support workers around me, my host around me and they became like a little family when I felt like I had nothing. So I wouldn't have got to this point in my life without Step by Step because I feel like I would have been very lost without them.